you know, Stephen likes to say that this is the uh, w- one of his only films that it do- doesn't have um, an alien in it or an animal or a robot or whatever, or a dinosaur. And I said, no, I'm that. <laughs> most of my answers to most of the questions were, I don't know. Why Mr. Spielberg called me, why he thought of me for this part and why I'm supposed to do it and why this character does what he does. So everything was a mystery. It was almost like hearing a voice which says, you will be the person who made me become a director. That's all he said to me. I was sort of like nodding all the time. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And, well, he's an uncle of my mother. And, uh, he might have been Ukraine. He might have been Russian. He might have, in other words, there was a lot of might. With all of that wonderful background, <laughs> I read the script and said, boy, I'm telling you something. I got no help with this one. Movies are dreams. That you never forget. Sammy? change how everything looks it's hard to find our house ours is the dark house with no lights i know uh, that uh, tony kushner wrote with steven i could tell that tony had a lot to do with this particular part of mine knowing the kind of guy he is i thought well he's gonna want this to be uh you know an oracle a man who who somehow is brought in you can't, you don't even know why or how or when. He's brought in to do something to Steven Spielberg as a child, <laughs> as, a, as a teenager, and then leave. I said, well, how, how, how does he sound? And he said, oh, uh, we hardly understood a word he said. So I thought, okay, <laughs> let's start that way. I present my life in just a few minutes to this poor guy who has to uh, be inundated with things that he has absolutely no connection to. Having been in the circus and my having been in the in the theater and having had such a difficult time in, in, in the family because he had to get out to do it. So the whole scene is, in other words, to give him an example of what might happen to him. Because I remember there was a key word in it uh, uh, toward the end of the scene where I said, look at me, this is what I had to do. You know, nobody, nobody wanted me to do this. I had a tough time in my life. I had to get out. I had to do what the art in me was telling me to do. And that's probably the theme of the entire movie, that this implanted thing that from whenever, birth or whatever, this thing called the art that makes you do what you have to do is in all of us. In this family, it's the scientists versus the artists. Sammy's on my team, takes after me. What kind of movie are we gonna make? You dismiss what he does, it's playful or imaginative. You could afford to be a little encouraging. One doesn't usually speak of monologues in, in movies, right? The term is usually applied to in plays. I started in the theater and never thought I'd do, I'd do anything else but. You can't say, stop, let's do it again. You can't, you can't pick a shot about how people can see you. You can't do a close-up. So your, your responsibility is to try to, to get as much belief out of an audience in a fake place that you can, right? Movies will take care of it. They'll put you in real places, right? The house is real. The things you're using are real. Now, they give you a monologue and they're going to have to get into your head to see, to see what you're talking about, you know, and how it feels and everything. And that's the job of the actor. I really did not know who Boris was going to be. It could, I mean, I thought when he said the guy who made it become a director, I thought it was going to be like someone who was in the business and someone who uh, knew him better than he knew himself. I just thought it was going to be a professional guy who said, do you know how good you are? Take it from me, you know. You, you should really do this. That's before reading a word of the script. 
Then I read the script and I said, none of these people are that, except this old fart who is going to come in and take him apart. It's not that he won't shut up, but he has to keep going until the boy realizes what he's talking about. And uh, I thought, whoa, we better have a redeeming something here because I just don't want to destroy a, 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 a character. I, I, I can't walk in. And, um, and Steven's sort of like, he's not even care, he doesn't care about that because he wants it to have that effect. She should have been a concert piano player. What she got in her heart is what you got. You can't just love something, you also have to take care of it. It's more important than your hobby. Can you stop calling it a hobby? Mom got a monkey! Why'd you get a monkey? Because I needed a laugh. And you always have to be the center of attention. Stop shouting at her! That has been nothing but disrespect from you! I'm your mother! Redford's first job. First directing job was what I did. And he'll admit to you that he didn't know too much about cameras. In fact, he kind of said, I wasn't directing from that point of view at all. He was directing from people, the story, and what he would like to see happen. The Softy brothers are, are guys who like to throw things in the air. That's fun. That's, that's a lot of fun. Because they'll make you believe that you're in it, even if you aren't. When they got me, it was almost like um, I was already in the movie before I started. <laughs> Another relative, they couldn't even tell me who he was. They just said, his name, his name is this. I said, it's an awful name. He said, yeah, I know, I know, but, but uh, that's why. <laughs> okay, okay. It was fun. It was true fun. But uh, Spielberg is, whoa, different. I mean, uh, you don't worry about how that thing's going to be shot. I mean, there's no way in which you can be aware of the mechanics of shooting uh, that movie. I mean, I, we had one camera in the room, and it was on a, on a uh, crane, small crane. So that was the only thing that, that filmed us. I just thought, uh, just keep talking until he says cut. Family, art, <laughs> it'll tear you in two. You stop making movies, it'll break your mother's heart. I don't know what to do anymore. You do what your heart says you have to. What was your favorite part? The thing that moves the movie from, from character to character and what they had to do, either despite something or because of something, was this nugget in them called art. What that art did for them.